All right. Have a good run. Yeah, thanks. Uh -huh. <sighs> breathing, breathing techniques and running. Oh, baby. Here we go. All right, going out for an easy, easy 10 today. Uh, yes, I'm listening to a podcast right now about uh, the Barkley marathons you better believe it it's happening right now basically the we're going to talk about this at the live stream monday night where we do the running shoe giveaway in case you're um uh unaware we're doing the next running shoe giveaway monday night april 1st it is not an april fool's joke monday april 1st at 7 p.m mountain time that's my time 7 p.m and we're going to give away at least 10 pairs of running shoes some of them brand new anyway uh that night we're going to talk about the barkley marathons which i'm listening to uh right now as i begin this uh 10 mile easy day it's been a big week so we're just going to go bop along for 10 and get her done so all right breathing techniques we're going to discuss that later back in the studio i hope you're having a great weekend wherever you're at in the world crushing life doing your thing doing your thing all right let's go oh yeah we're we're a little sore from the uh, gym yesterday a little sore a little sore Feeling good, feeling inspired by the Barkley Marathon going on right now in Tennessee. We'll talk more about that, like I said, uh, Monday night. So uh, we are heading out for some errands, but I did not put this upcoming clip into yesterday's vlog because it was getting a little long, so I decided to cut the clip, but I think it brings a little fire, a little motivation. So here you go, roll it from yesterday. Time to get off that couch. What if someone in your life has given up? What if they're stuck on the couch? What if they're a little afraid to start that marathon training? What if they haven't been to a track in 10 years? Guys, you can do this. I, honestly, I was done at 27, 28 years old. I'm 33 now. I had given up on the marathon. I was like, get, I was like that, that boat has sailed. It is gone. Guys, it is not gone. There is hope out there for you too. Who knows, maybe, I don't know, I'm just putting it out there, I'm feeling inspired to let you know, I think you should share this video with someone who really needs it and who, who is struggling to get off the couch, struggling to put one foot in front of the other, struggling to open that front door and just say, you know what, I'm not gonna even run today. I'm not gonna go a half mile run. I'm gonna go for a quarter mile walk. Cause guess what, You can, everyone can start. Everyone can start. I think I'm gonna make a vlog soon, maybe a series of, series of videos about, I think everyone in the entire world should run. I'm serious. Imagine the joy that would be in this world and the health that would be in this world if everyone ran, let's just, not even every day, let's just say four or five days a week. Every, also, what are we at, seven billion people now? Oh got me fired up you got me fired up all right I'm on my way to the gym uh, quick transition into the gym I don't... here we go YouTube family all right the boys and I we are off to uh, run some errands basically we're picking up an item for the live stream on Monday night to make it run smoother and uh, yes True Love is in New York visiting her sister right now so uh, it's just the boys and I we are on an adventure right boys yes. all right all right here we go rock and roll Whoa, here we go. So I do apologize, the clip that you're about to watch is out of focus. 
sometimes we do have technical difficulties in the studio, so the autofocus on the camera decided to focus on the back wall and not on me. So sorry about that. Just going to have to deal with it for the next five or six minutes. All right. Roll the tape. Sorry about that. And we're back in the studio. Okay, that two minute clip I showed you earlier was from yesterday's vlog where I did my first track session in 10 years. So I hope it lit a little fire inside one person. If it lit a fire inside one person out there watching, it was all worth it showing it to you and uh, just getting off getting off the couch, getting out the front door. And we got the cups today at Target with the boys. All right, the blue cups are for the ladies. The red cups will be for the guys. All right, so for the running shoe giveaway, Monday night, 7 p.m., so tomorrow. Wow, crazy. Monday, tomorrow, April 1st, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. What we'll do is you'll put your name into the chat. I'll explain more at the live stream. So this will be a live stream, just so you know. It's going to be live. And uh, you'll put your name in, and then depending on your shoe size, your name will go in each individual cup. So thank you uh, to whoever sent out the idea for this, for staying organized. And we're only going to get better at this running shoe giveaway uh, business moving forward. Uh, so last time it was a little bit of a crazy, crazy time here in the studio, but we're figuring it out together. And moving on to today's topic, breathing while running. Air, oxygen, it's our fuel. It's really important. And so I want to hear in a minute, how do you breathe and have you ever even thought about your breath while running? And just so you know, this topic idea was emailed to me from a viewer, maybe a couple viewers actually, but the most recent email was probably about a week ago, uh, maybe a little more. And if you have ideas for me to cover, I'd be happy to talk about it if I can work it into the overall schedule for this YouTube channel. So thank you to whoever, I don't remember your name, but thanks for sending this along. I think it's a good topic. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I'm just going to share my thoughts on breathing in oxygen. Uh, but first, I want to run a quick clip from a vlog about a month ago where, where we talked about developing our aerobic engine. You know how I like to do that. All right, roll the tape. In summary, the quicker that our hearts can deliver oxygenated blood to our muscles, the faster and longer we're going to be able to run, meaning our capillary beds are well developed in our lungs to bring in more oxygen, which is delivered to the heart, which then is processed into the blood through the heart and pumped because we've been working our heart so well for months and months uh, without overtraining without plunging our pH levels too low too often with high intensity interval training. Uh, then when, then when, this is when it's exciting. That's right, developing the aerobic engine, it's a beautiful thing. And so, as runners, we wanna be able to bring in as much oxygen as possible so that we can transfer it, as I just mentioned, through our lungs, into our red blood cells, into our bloodstream, which then delivers it out to our muscles in order to push off the lactic acid as, po as long as possible when we are running hard. And so often I get the question, do I breathe through my mouth or I, do I breathe through my nose? I'll just say right now, I've never, ever breathed through my nose. I tried it maybe once or twice for like two or three minutes and it just doesn't work for me. Now, I've heard, and maybe somebody out there can confirm this, but I've heard that Scott Jurek, the 100 mile uh, phenom who raced maybe like 10 to, 10 to 15 years ago, he was at the top of the ultra running game. I believe he has talked about uh, breathing through your nose as a way to slow down your your cadence of breathing and just to relax more. Uh, now listen, ultra running is totally different than racing a mile as far as uh, everything. It's just like, it's just a tour racing a 5k or even a 10k. It's just different, different, different. So, um, I breathe through my mouth. I just need more oxygen going into my lungs and that is going to happen through my mouth. And as you are running and increasing your pace, whether it's in an interval workout or maybe it's in a threshold run or a race, of course, you're going to notice your breathing pattern is going to change and it's going to, it's going to speed up. That's just, it's just naturally going to happen so that you don't pass out. I'm just, I'm just in, I'm just in the studio and you're on camera. True, true love, uh, say, say hello to YouTube. YouTube, I love you, baby. <laughs> New York, baby. All right, there we go. All right, true love says hello. She sends her love to all of you. Okay, where was I? I think I was talking about 
as our pace increases in a workout or in a race, of course, our breathing will have to adapt to that pace. If we don't adapt, if we don't speed up our breathing, uh, we're going to slow down or we're, we're going to end up passing out. Something's going to happen. Uh, but one tip is to make sure that you're getting a full breath. So you're bringing in as much ox oxygen as possible into our lung cavities. But also, this is my, my major tip of the day, is what I like to do. Think about, so you're, you're swinging your arms, your arm carriage, and this is, we focus so much as runners on our lower legs, on our, but yeah, on our lower limbs, uh, basically from our waist down, because that's what is actually doing the moving, and that's what usually hurts the most in a race or in a workout is our legs. But think about this. The next time you go out for a hard, a hard effort, think about your shoulder blades. That's right. This is what I like to do. And I did this yesterday on the track. I was focused on not all the time. It's you got to you got to make a mental decision. Use your willpower to say, "Okay, I'm going to focus on my shoulder blades and wherever your shoulder blades naturally fall in a in a workout, in a race, then what I like to do is I use the half inch rule with my shoulder blades. So basically, I move them back a half an inch. That's right. So I'm swinging, swinging, and I actually do this exercise. I don't always film it in the gym. I did this yesterday where I, I, I call it, uh, we just call it arm swings. I, we used to do it at the University of Colorado. It's just arm swings with dumbbells, like 10 pound weight dumbbells, not much weight. I just work on arm swings, but I do the half inch rule with my shoulder blades while just, I'll pop, just pop. There you go. Just pop those shoulder blades back a half an inch. Why? To open up the the chest, open up the lung cavity, open up that diaphragm, just open it up just a little bit and boom, and then fire or trigger your, your lower back, your entire back, but especially your lower back and just boom, boom, boom. And then you're good. <laughs> this is beautiful. And then your arms are not going to do this. You don't want to do this. Now you kids are probably asking yourselves, hey Matt, how can we get back on the right track? You just don't want to do this. And listen to this, a quick side story. Uh, I'm going to steal this from Jorge Torres. He ran for CU, an NCAA uh, cross country champion. Uh, he ran in the Olympics in the 10K. His coach, I think it was in middle school when he lived in Chicago, his coach gave him and his and his twin brother, uh, Eduardo, uh, sticks to hold. So they would hold sticks in their hands as they were running. And the reason the coach did that was to teach them to make sure that their arm swing was straight forward so that they weren't crossing like this. Anyway, I digress. That was just a quick side story, but that is my rule, my tip of the day. Throw those shoulder blades back just a half an inch to open up that cavity and see what it does for you the next time you are trying to go fast to see if it helps you with your breathing. And yes, breath. That is the key word for this video. And uh, the question of the day, how do you breathe? If there's anyone who breathes through their nose, let me know. Or maybe you do both. I've kind of, I've heard of that a little bit, um, where you breathe through your mouth and your nose. I have no clue. Maybe we all do that a little bit naturally, but that would be interesting to hear. Or another option for the question of the day, have you ever actually counted out the rhythm of your breathing, uh, whether it's like a 3-3 three, three pattern, a 3-2 pattern, etc., etc. I've heard different theories out there, like Jack Daniels has his own theory about how our breathing pattern should be. I frankly don't really think about it. Uh, I don't overthink it. Anyway, that's just how I approach my breathing, but that is the question of the day and the keyword, and I hope that made sense. Half inch rule, shoulder blades, boom, boom, boom. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Woo! See you tomorrow night, Monday, 7 p.m. Live stream, running shoe giveaway. Spread the word, spread the word. See you tomorrow.